Rabies is a viral disease that all mammals are susceptible to. And so that includes humans, that includes our companion animals, as well as, uh, as livestock and, and wildlife as well. So our carriers here in Oklahoma are primarily the skunk. We can also see that in, uh, in raccoons as well. And so if you are interacting with wildlife, you wanna do that really with a, a great deal of caution because this is a zoonotic disease. So zoonotic diseases are those that can be transmitted from animals to humans. And so we wanna be very, very cautious when interacting with wildlife, particularly if we were to see a skunk in the middle of the day. That's not something that uh, is normal behavior for, for that species. And so it gives us a great deal of concern. We may be having an issue with rabies there. In our companion animals, particularly, uh, those are farm and ranch dogs that can interact on a regular basis with wildlife. We wanna make sure that they are up to date on their rabies vaccinations. And so you wanna discuss with your veterinarian the best options. Always recommend rabies vaccinations for any of our companion animals uh, because this is a disease that we don't have a treatment for. It is important to remember in Oklahoma that unless that rabies vaccine is administered by a licensed veterinarian that it is not necessarily recognized uh, for the purposes if your animal should be exposed. When it comes to horses and other domestic, uh, domestic livestock, um, it may not be economically feasible for our commercial operations to vaccinate every stalker steer in the pasture. However, when it comes to show animals and for horses as well, I always recommend rabies vaccination uh, because of the higher risk of interacting with wildlife because skunks, uh, raccoons, etc., like when we're like to be in the barn where we have uh, have feed uh, and and other things. So. With that, keep in mind, we have seen rabies in Oklahoma. We see it each year uh, in our wildlife species. And unfortunately, it is diagnosed oftentimes uh, in companion animal and livestock species as well. So for more information, we encourage you to visit the Oklahoma Department of Public Health uh, then see their website uh, because that particular disease is reportable and the Department of Health is the one that handles that.